Dr. John. Hello. Can you tell us about moles? Yeah, sure. Mole is quite a common condition. Uh, everybody has mole. There is no exception um, uh, to this. Um, but if you live in a, in a hot country or where there's lots of sunshine, or even in Europe, uh, if you see um, North European people will have less mold and South European people will have more moles because the temperature variation, the sunshine, all those contributes. Now, moles can present uh, can be present from the birth or they come on later in the life, what we call acquired moles. Now, uh, we generally don't worry about the moles, but uh, if the mole is producing symptoms uh, such as uh, uh, pain, itching, oozing, bleeding, that's all symptoms, then yes, we need to be worried about and we should seek expert advice on that. Um, and, uh, but if the mole is not producing any symptoms, uh, then still we need to look into a different uh, way. And there is a criteria for that. And the criteria is A, B, C, D, E criteria. And A stands for asymmetry. Um, so if you look at any mole, um, and they are symmetrical um, if you cut in any plane in any direction uh, horizontal or vertical or diagonal they produce equal halves um, suppose if you cut the apple in two half and the apple looks uh, equal and symmetrical so we don't need to worry about if the moles are symmetrical mm -hmm. in uh, when you cut through any plane now, if the cut ends are asymmetrical, one is bigger and one is smaller and look different, then yes, this mold qualifies an expert to look at and possibly remove it for biopsy purposes and so on. That's A. B stands for border. How the border is. If the border is smooth and rounded, we don't need to worry about. And that's border. Uh, B. Uh, C stands for color. Uh, how the mold is. Uh, is it a uniformly one color? Red means all the way through it's red, pink means all the way through it's pink or uh, dark brown, all the way through same dark brown. Or there is a variation in the color pattern in the same mold. Now, if there is a variation in the color pattern in the same mold, then yes, this mold again needs a specialist to look at and take it out for biopsy purpose. And that's color C. Uh, D stands for diameter, how big is the mold. Now, in general, generally speaking, um, end of a pencil uh, measures about five to six millimeter size. We have a pencil here. So, if the mole uh, corresponds to that size or or smaller than that size, then yes, we don't need to worry about. But if the mole is larger than uh, five to six millimeter, then yes, a specialist needs to look at uh, considering to re remove it and biopsy it. Mm -hmm. So, and that's uh, size. Size obviously size matters. Um, and uh, that's uh, the diameter, okay? So D. And mm -hmm. E stands for elevation. Now, again, is the uh, mole uniformly elevated all the way through, or is that got a different pattern of elevation in the same mole? Now, if it is a different pattern of elevation in the same mole, then again, it needs a uh, specialist to look at and consider to remove and biopsy. So these are the various criteria. Uh, one is symptom producing, other is non-symptom producing, but yet do they uh, fit in these criteria or uh, they don't fit in these criteria. If they don't, then yes, we suggest the uh, clients or patients to get rid of these moles. So how, how do you remove the moles? Well, th there are various uh, ways to remove moles. Uh, it all depends uh, um, what is the indication for mold removal. Um, if the indication is clear cut that there is a suspicious of cancer's element there uh, because there has been symptoms or they fit in one of these criteria uh, where is the asymmetry or there's a color change or there's an irregular border or there's quite big mold and so on and so on. So if it is suspicious of cancer then the best way to remove the moles is obviously the classical way. And in classical way what we do is take a healthy chunk of skin all around and we, we take it out with a healthy skin and we biopsy it um, and then the defect is closed with the stitches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other ways of removing moles, uh, especially when um, there is no clear-cut uh, um, clinical evidence of uh, cancer, then yes, other methods can be tried and of which are uh, laser, uh, shave uh, biopsy, uh, shaving the mold in the skin plane 
and radio surgery. These are the uh, ways to remove the moles. Mm -hmm. So which one of those would give the best cosmetic result? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, yes, if the mole is suspicious of cancer, then obviously you will have to or one will have to go for the classical surgery. But classical surgery, as you understand, uh, this tissue has to be cut and the defect has to be closed with the stitches. And obviously that will not give a good cosmetic result. Um, but uh, uh, the various ways of other uh, method, uh, what we said, um, shaving by saving uh, the mole and laser and the radio surgery. Of this, I think the radio surgery uh, tops the rank uh, when it comes to the result, the cosmetic result. Mm -hmm. Cosmetic result is far superior uh, than the other method mm -hmm. and gives you uh, best cosmetic results. Mm -hmm. Although there is a scar, but the scar is minimal because the tissue damage is minimal mm -hmm. and hence gives you a best, uh, very good results. And can a biopsy be sent if you do radio surgery? Well, the answer is uh, yes and no. It depends. Uh, if the mole is quite big, then uh, the, um, it's easy to send the uh, tissue for biopsy mm -hmm. uh, by radio surgery. But if the mole is very nearly flat uh, and there is a, hardly any scope of sending the tissue, and that's where our limitation is with the radio surgery. But yes, if the mole is bigger, then yes, we can certainly send the uh, tissue for the biopsy. But if it's very small, then... Mm -hmm. and I've heard that you're offering free mole consultations in your clinic. Um, so, 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 do people just come along and book an appointment? Yes, uh, we, we, we um, especially in Warwickshire area, um, we are a cosmetic and skin clinic and uh, we offer a local clients or local people who are concerned about their moles to have free consultation with us. And uh, um, yes, we do uh, offer free consultation, mm -hmm. but it has to be a prior booking. Mm -hmm. and they cannot just walk in because the doctor may not be here. Mm -hmm. And why, why is this free consultation different to what you would have at, um, say, your local GP surgery? Yes, as I said, we are a cosmetic and skin clinic um, in Leamington Spa. And uh, we do have specialized equipment to, especially to examine moles, um, because examination of a mole is a little uh, tricky. Um, because uh, if you see any mole with your naked eye, you get uh, a different idea uh, in your mind. But if you look the same mole um, with the specialized uh, mole scopes, um, which magnifies them so much that you can clearly see is there any change in the, um, uh, you know, the irregularity of the uh, periphery uh, or irregularity of the surface or any uh, different color, color variations which you cannot really appreciate with the naked eye examination. And most of the GP surgery, um, they do offer a free um, mole checkup but uh, possibly um, only a few of those uh, GP surgery may have mole scope. But we do say our clients that we have mole scope uh, which gives the best uh, diagnostic, uh, you know, which is the best diagnostic tool um, to look at any mole. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for your time, Dr. John. Thank you very much. Thank you.